What's going on everyone, Juicebags here, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to put together an obelisk relic, and I want to do something a little bit different with mine, and that is I want to turn it into kind of a boss killer obelisk. Uh, the obelisk, of course, has some of the greatest utility available in the game with its crowd control, pretty much map-wide, and additionally hero buffs. Uh, the obelisk is an absolute powerhouse when it comes to CCing down single target enemies and buffing heroes. It's just good, good stuff. Now, the obelisk is one that you can use a lot of different ways. Um, it used to be used pretty regularly as a bait tower in Onslaught mode for flying mobs. Uh, it's just a great utility defense that anytime you have an extra 40 DU, it's kind of a no-brainer to slap one down. Now, the other benefit the obelisk has is it's very rare that you're ever going to be using more than one. Uh, other than if you're just playing around with meme builds or whatever, it's normally just one obelisk per map. And that means you can work in the unique servos. Um, I'm going to be using the unique crit servo for a 30% chance to crit and unique power for almost 20,000 additional defense power on my relic. Now, since this obelisk, I want to be more of a mini boss killer. Uh, we're going with anti mini boss. Now, in most cases, you could just throw a unique crit damage on here and it's just going to get the job done for you. Uh, however, I'm starting to get a few anti mini bosses loaded up in the old inventory and it's time to use some. And hence the boss killing obelisk is born. So we're going anti mini boss on our obelisk. Now, of course, we need to find a good base relic. I've got two of them here with decent secondary rolls. You see the max is 29,296. This one's 29,121. And then this one's, uh, what, 28,942. So this one's the better of the two. Let's go ahead and work with that one. Now, first things first, of course, we do want to re-roll our main stat. Uh, our main stat is a bit poopy on this one. Uh, once again, I still don't have very many of these uh, main stat reroll tokens, but we want to do a little better than 80%. Uh, let's see what we can get here. Hopefully we can get something uh, before blowing through these 20 tokens. Uh, at 80%, it is going to be difficult to get upgrades, uh, but let's see what we can do. Uh, there's an 88%, so that's a little bit better. Let's go ahead and blow our last 13 here and see if we can get into the 90s, though. I might have to come back and revisit this one. Actually, there's a 91%. Not, um, you know, I prefer to be a little bit higher, but, you know, good enough. 91.81% will get it done. Now, additionally, this relic is just 6 out of 10. So we do want to upgrade this one all the way up to get it maxed out at 10 out of 10. And then we want to find our target mods. So uh, we've got that unique crit servo, the unique power, and the anti-mini boss. You see, these are all either chaos nine or 10. So as long as it's above chaos eight, of course, or chaos eight or above, uh, they're usable without any changes. So we are gonna go ahead and just slap those bad boys right on there. So let's see, let's grab our target and then we'll start dumping these on farewell defender metals. Let's go with a uh, unique crit servo right there. Then we'll go with um, unique power. And then, last but not least, we'll throw in that anti-mini boss. You know, down the road, I may end up changing this to be a unique crit damage. Um, or even go with uh, a regular crit chance servo to get to 100% crit chance. Uh, however, I think this one's going to be fun to play around with for right now. So that is what we are going with. Now, we've got it pretty much uh, squared away. It is just about ready to go. However, what else are we going to want to do? Well, of course, we're going to want to make it godly. So we're hoping to get the defense crit chance roll. Let's see what we get. Uh, we got defense range. That one is no good. And this is where the defender metal sink really goes down, as sometimes rerolling these godly stats can be quite brutal at 250 a pop. Uh, but let's see what we can get here. And we got defense crit chance right away. So a little luck on this one. I uh, still need to go back and fix my Volcano Relic uh, that I don't have the crit chance roll on it. And now we're going to have a pretty nice beastie obelisk. So if we slap one down here, 
Um, let's get it uh, fully upgraded all the way. Once it's done building, we are fully jacked up. Let's give it all the bells and whistles like we normally would. Uh, that boost star has got deadly strikes on it, it looks like. But that is all right. All right, let's take a look at this now. Okay, now we want... You know, we're only going to be using one obelisk. So all for one is the go-to. It's going to handle the attack rate um, and give us some more power. Empowering Blasphemy, obviously... This is only hero related. However, the reason for using an obelisk the majority of the time is going to be for the hero bus uh, boost as it's just so darn good. But we do want a little bit more power on it. Let's just go with something like destruction for our last shard. And now we should see an obelisk that looks a little bit more appealing. There we go. Now it's 5 million damage uh, for each smite that hits. It's got almost a 75% chance to crit. Um, so it's going to be smacking bosses. You figure, um, just say it was at 100% crit damage, that would be 10 million crits against bosses, and then it's get got has the 50%. So that's going to be 15 million crits against mini bosses. So good stuff there. We've got us an obelisk ready to go. It should chonk away at some bad boys, and additionally provide us with some nice hero boosting. But that will do it for now. Thanks a ton for watching. Um, use the obelisk, y'all. It is just too darn good. But uh, thanks again, and I will see you next time. Take it easy.